Hello, this is Nick with NicksComputerFix.com, and here's a quick video on a Netgear Wi-Fi range extender unboxing, setup, and review. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the box itself. On the front, we see a picture of the Netgear Wi-Fi range extender. It says N300. It also says boost your existing Wi-Fi. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look on the left-hand side. It shows a picture of the range extender on the side, the left side of it. There's a power on and off button and a WPS button. On the back, we see a diagram or a schematic of where you would locate the Wi-Fi range extender in your house. Now, on the right-hand side of the box, we see, let's take a closer look here. It says package contents, ease of use, security, standards, system requirements, physical specifications, and warranty. One year, by the way. And on the bottom, it says 24-7 technical support. Now, if we take a look at the top of the box, it simply says Netgear. Not much to be seen there. And if we go ahead and take a look at the bottom of the box, we see a lot of fine print. And we also see the word Netgear, and we see a lot of numbers, barcodes, like the serial number itself. Okay, um, that's it for a 360 degree look at the box. Let's go ahead and open this up. By me using my favorite pocket knife to cut the tape on the lid here and lift the lid and pull out the packaging here. All right, and once that's done, we'll go ahead and take a look at the quick start guide the n300 wi-fi range extender and by the way it's in color and it shows excellent steps to take and instructions and uh, some really good uh, diagrams and pictures of the wi-fi extender so we'll put that aside and get back to it and there's nothing else in the box so let's go ahead and take a look at the main unit itself and uh, we'll pop that over there all right, a close-up look. Here's the packaging, and it's um, some really heavy-duty uh, plastic, by the way, so we'll just toss that, and it would help if I had this uh, not upside down. There we go. Now, it has antennas that are completely adjustable so that you can move them and hopefully get the best signal strength from your router. Okay, on the front here, we have some LED lights. We have one for the power, WPS also. And then up top, we have one for the router link, and on the right, the client link. And then uh, it says Netgear, of course. And then on the bottom, we have a factory reset button there um, on the left-hand side here and you can reset it back to factory defaults. And we have a LAN port. And then on the left side, we have a uh, WPS button, and we also have a on and off uh, power button. On top, we have some air vents, and uh, on the other side, we have air vents. And let's see here. On the back, we, of course, have the AC plug, and we have some serial numbers and model numbers as well. All right, um, that's it for a close-up look of the Netgear Wi-Fi extender itself. And keep in mind, it has a nice light weight to it, and it's very small, by the way, also. Okay, it's time to go ahead and do our install and setup. First, let's go ahead and plug the Wi-Fi extender into a AC wall outlet. And when you first do that, it's going to be a solid amper color on the power LED. And then after about 30 seconds, it will turn a solid green. And once it does, we can go ahead over to our laptop. So we can go ahead and begin our configuration of the Netgear Wi-Fi range extender. So let's go down to our taskbar here and click on the Wi-Fi um, icon. And as you can see, um, I am presently connected to PP Router. However, the Netgear underscore EXT is the range extender, and it did show up, and I clicked on it. And we go ahead and click on Connect. And after a few seconds, um, on Windows 10 by default on my laptop, 
um, it opens up the um, Microsoft Edge browser. If yours does not open up, um, what you want to do is go ahead and open up a browser and go to this link here, myWiFiEXT.com, and you'll get this um, home page for Netgear and click on New Extender Setup. That takes you to the next page here and you need to create a new account here um, by typing in a valid um, email address, password, and answer three security questions. And once you've done that, you click on Next and that takes you to this next page where you have two choices. You can either set this up as a Wi-Fi range extender or an access point. We're going to do the extender and we'll click on that. And it goes out and scans for available networks and then gives you a list. And in my case, um, mine is PP router and it's also the strongest signal. And I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to go down and click on next. And then it prompts me to um, give it the password to my Wi-Fi um, network, my existing network, and in this case, the PP router. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in. And once I do, I'll go down and click on Next. And if the Wi-Fi network password was correct that you typed in, uh, the Wi-Fi extender makes a connection with your existing Wi-Fi uh, router and then allows you to configure the Wi-Fi extender, give it a different name, or take the one that it creates by default. In this case, I'm going to change the name to uh, Nick, N-I-C-K-1. Um, that's what I'm choosing to do. And it also allows you to um, either keep the same password or use a different password or none at all. And if you choose none at all, um, it turns around and that network is going to be completely open. So um, I'm choosing to uh, use the same as existing network as my password. And uh, once you're finished here, you go ahead and click on Next. And then it goes out and applies those settings to the Wi-Fi range extender. And once it's finished, it presents you with the uh, following information. In my case, the name of my um, uh, Wi-Fi extender is Nick one You could have chosen a different name or used the default one that it gave you. It tells me that it's secure, which it um, took the same security as my existing Wi-Fi network. And then it presents me with the password that I decided on. And in my case, it was the same uh, Wi-Fi uh, password of my existing network. You could have choose a different one or none at all. And once you're finished, you can go ahead and click on uh, continue. And now we can go ahead and close this out and go down to our taskbar. And as you can see, when we click on our Wi-Fi icon, Nick one is in the list. And if we click on it and click on connect, um, it will prompt for a um, password. And as I chose earlier um, for the Wi-Fi extender to be the same password as my existing Wi-Fi network. And I click on next there and it goes out and uh, verifies and confirms and then it makes a connection in a few seconds. And as you can see, we are now connected to the new Wi-Fi extender um, that I called or named uh, as Nick one and if I click on that, I can go ahead and confirm that we have internet access. Or I can go down here and uh, just open up Microsoft Edge. And Google should come up, and it does. So we have a internet connection, and we're good to go. And we are in business here. So now I have my primary and my secondary um, network um, connections available. Okay, we've come to the end of this video. However, um, one last picture here. This is the um, Wi-Fi extender um, 
fully functional and all lights are solid green. Okay, that's the end. Subscribe and leave a like if you like.